Christmasers, welcome back to the channel for Christmasing. I'm Gina Loves Christmas, and today at Christmaser University, we are going to be covering trim trees, pencil trees, skinny trees, trees that are skinnier than me. And I never thought this would be on the syllabus, but you ask for it all the time, and I love you that much. I have already added a giant vignette to the bottom of my trim tree because that's how I like it. And I know you're oftentimes putting these in little rooms that maybe they don't really Maybe you don't need a Christmas tree. Think about the ceiling. Or maybe it's going in a hallway. I know you like to put them on the staircase. You just like pencil trees. I get it. And I love you. So let's decorate. You knew I was going to come in with picks. I'm coming in hot with picks. Here's the thing. Pencil trees, one, they're really skinny, and that's part of the reason. I mean, look, it's fine. I, it's like I'm body shaming the Christmas tree. I'm, I, I, I don't mean to insult the tree. I'm just going to say that out loud. No matter what I say, that's not what it's about. It's just a really skinny Christmas tree, and maybe that's the point. Maybe that's why you bought it, because you have a trim area. Uh, Pix is gonna give it a little bit of body, but Pix is also gonna give it some texture because this tree is, this is a basic trim pencil tree. If you are looking for a basic trim one, this is a good one to get. This piece is merely a suggestion. You don't need it. Instantly, my tree looks happier and healthier. Pick, pop your pick, get it open. How many picks do you need? As many as you have. You don't need to overdo it. I am gonna ribbon this tree because I think that's also a question you have. Like, how do I do it? How do I do a trim tree, a pencil tree, whatever we're calling our trees these days? How do I do it when I'm adding ribbons? So I'm just going to go through and get a situation. Pick comes like this. Pop the pick, open it up, and instantly, the pick has a lot more to offer. And the tree really needs something good. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. I, 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 I have decorated a few pencil trees and trim trees in children's rooms and I, I, I didn't mind them that much. I didn't. Do you see the difference in the shape of the tree already? It's just like any other tree, it's just smaller. I made a cocktail table out of you. I made a cocktail table out of you last season and that was so cute. That's the video. What should you do with your pencil trees? <laughs> you should make a cocktail table out of them. That was one of my finest ideas. Kyle, was that good or what? Great. I'm feeling like that's enough picks for now. I wanted to go in first with them just to break up, break up the shape. I also, you're like, is she gonna do two trees at the same time? I'm gonna decorate a flock one too because flock trees are a little bit different. I actually, I do love this flock Christmas tree. Slim blocked Christmas tree. Okay, what's next? Next, I'm gonna do some ribbon. Why wouldn't I ribbon a tree? That's what I do. Candy plaid, candy plaid is a four inch ribbon. Is that too big for a trim tree, a pencil tree? Nope, it's not. Not if it's, this is a very pliable ribbon. It's gonna let me do some things to it. It's going to let me, it's gonna feel a little smaller once I get it in the tree. You will have to trust me on that. It also has this spectacular shimmer, so I love it. I love it, candy plaid. I'm gonna make a double. If you have not seen my, how to make my three simple loops yet, give it a watch. It is actually simple, that's why I do it. There's a lot of different ways to ribbon, uh, all ways or good ways. If you, It's like having a baby. When you have a baby, it doesn't actually matter how the baby arrives. Some people have tumultuous labors. One of my friends gave birth in the truck on the side of the road. My kids were born at home in a bathtub. But if your baby arrives, and it, was, it doesn't matter how you got there. So, but if you're looking for a simple way to do it, I have three simple loops. This is a double. It's also a little bit like a mini bow, which is why I'm doing this. It's super cute. A super cute little mini bow. Now, this is, I'm gonna cut this ribbon all over the place. I'm only gonna bring down one loop, and, and this is getting cut. Going in. I forgot I put my holster on. Just a little baby. Just a little body. Not the Audi Audi, she's just got the body what we were giving her. I'm gonna go in with another double, and I'm basically gonna do this all around the tree, whole perimeter. And when we're done, this is gonna give our tree just all, she's probably already, look, look at that. She's feeling good, I can tell. That's so funny, I'm, I'm decorating a little bit because this is what I see, but I'm like, this is, this is Etsy, now you can see it too. 
with the trimmer tree, you are not going to put your ribbon into the heart of the tree. You're not going to wire it deep. You really want to keep it on the outer branch. We're trying to get the bows to bring in some of the goodness that bows bring, but we're trying to do it without going too deep in the branch because we don't need the ribbon. We're not coming really straight from the heart. With a trimmer tree, you're really coming from, that's a good analogy. You're coming from your ring finger. It's like our little ring and we're just coming out a little ways. We're not coming out all the way. There you go. There's your analogy. It's a little harder for me. Candy Platt, she's really pretty, isn't she? Oh my gosh, I love the shimmer. I do love the shimmer. Doubles. I cut my, I just realized I still have a bandaid on. I tried to take the bandaid off before we filmed, but I was moving ribbon around over there and I shivved my finger. So I think it's so cute. I'm gonna go in tight and it looks like a crime scene on my hand. Now remember, I told you I was gonna go all the way around my tree. And the reason I'm going all around my tree is because if you only put ribbon on the front of your tree, especially at the top, the tree is never going to have the balance that, is, that, that you're going to need it to have to look at it and think it looks done. You definitely need to make sure you have your ribbon coming off here too. It may, it gives it, it's a three dimensional thing. The, the tree is three dimensional. So you have to make sure that you mind the dimension all the way around. Mind your dimension. That's gonna mean something new as of today. Every now and then when I am filming and I maybe I don't have as much ribbon as I would like to have, I always, uh, <laughs> I'm like cheated a little and then I look at the tree and I'm like, it just doesn't, it just doesn't look like something I would do doesn't have all the ribbon it needs to have. Have to do it. You have to do it. Made a big difference, didn't it? I know there's a hole down there. I know it's there. It's intentional. This feels like enough. Does it feel like enough? You see what happened there? The tree got just a, little, just a little bit bigger. Still a trim tree under there. Just, and I have enough ribbon left to, I guess I could do the other one in this too, but I'm not going to. These are on our website. They are super fun and very playful and whimsical and they match some of the ribbons. They're a perfect match. Because I already built a vignette, I thought this would be really whimsical and cute to have it coming down from the bottom of the tree. And there's wire in them and I just opened it up and I just gave the wire a press, but it stores completely flat. Trimmer tree, flat bows, the whole, look at that. How cute is that? So cute. Oh my gosh, okay. She's stylish now. Instantly, she's just, her whole, her whole stride just changed because she feels so cute. <laughs> I'm going to go in now with some velvet. It's a two-tone, it's red, it's green, it's Christmassy. And we're just gonna do a few, just a few of these little bows up and down the tree. I'm also gonna go in with just little baby bows. I'm making babies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make them and I'm gonna cut them. And they're gonna go in just like that. Also doubles. So funny, I've been doing all these big trees and been using singles and just like being really like mellow and easy about the ribbon. And here I just wanna, I'm gonna call it like, they're like mini bows. So it's like mini mouse and her up. It's a little sassy. Like that feels, that just feels so stylish. Like if you had, like if you have a little girl or granddaughter, you put little bows in the hair for like soccer or school. I don't know, I have boys. <laughs> We're not wearing bows in our hair, but. We could, and they'd be the best bows. That's adorable. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to really like my trim tree. I'm starting to like my trim tree. This tree is called a Salem tree, and it is on my Vickerman Select page. I made six bows, and I'm gonna place them in all the same spots all around the tree. I did not tuck my picks deep in the tree because, again, we don't want any, the heart of this tree is full. The trim tree's heart is a full heart. So everything in the trim tree has to be right on the outer edges. 
We're just dressing her. We're not, she doesn't need any heart work today. Oh my gosh, those are so adorable. I picture this tree in a kitchen. And a little, not just because I put my dry, I'm, <laughs> I bought this a few years ago and I have never, he just sits in the corner of the studio. I've never used him. I had nowhere for him to go. But when you see something giant and you're treasure hunting, you buy it. I am gonna use bigger ornaments, not very big. They're only five inches. And I'm just going to put them in a few spots where I think the tree could use it. Not a lot of spots, just a few. And I'm still not gonna tuck them very deep. That is a benefit. These fill the space really quickly. This is actually, when you're at a larger ornament, uh, this is an easier size to find. A five inches, I would say the easiest size to find for your largers. So you shouldn't have trouble. I mean, I only use like six of them. Five, six, I used seven. Seven. Next, I'm going in with this, my special ornament. These are a set from Sullivan's. These are so beautiful and they really like the candy plaid and these made for each other. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I have four sets. That's all I have for this tree. And that's all I'm gonna need. These ornaments have, they have a pretty top. So I would actually, these are dripping. If we were doing this, this could make a dance, but you paid for the, you paid for all the fancy beading in the top. So these are actually little dripping ornaments. And that's how I'm going to put them on the tree. So let's I'm gonna put it right up here. This is a fantastic green for a green tree because it has multiple tones of green. So even though it's green like that is shimmery, it's good. Not a lot of ornaments are on this tree. Not a lot. I did put a lot of ribbon, but there aren't, we don't need a lot of ornaments. Now that my tree is filling up, I'm going to use a few more picks before I finish up. And the picks are going to go in all of the open spots. You could go in with a few more ornaments, but I think there's enough ornaments. And I love the way the picks make the tree look. I'm opening them up real wide. And just fill in my spaces. Really cheating them outer. And the picks, you, while you're always gonna wanna like kiss the perimeter of the tree just so that you see the dimension, you can go lighter in the back if you're still trying to keep your tree in a compact space. This is a couple picks. They're all like cozy together, but still doing something good. I have some little baby reds, just a few. Little three inchers. I am gonna tuck them into any other little hole since I'm out of picks. I have six of them. I mean, how many ornaments are on this whole tree? Not very many. And just for fun and because I'm excessive by nature, I'm just gonna put these little babies on. Just little babies I had, I like them. Little cheapy ornaments. Takes all the ornaments to make it gorgeous. Also just pulling the sparkle and the green in my candy plaid. There she is, our trim tree. Truly as sweet as can be. There it is, I promised it to you. And we have another one. Go to part two. Thank you for Christmasing with me today. Bye.